Welcome back, everyone. It's been a year since the first COVID-19 death was reported in the U.S. For some, it's been the most challenging year of their life. Every aspect of our day has been impacted, but maybe not as much as those in the medical field. WCBI's Desmond Matthews joins us live in the studio with that story. COVID-19 cases once surged to levels beyond what anyone could imagine. Businesses shutting down, money being lost, and at-home quarantines became common for just about everyone. But finally, there seems to be a light at the end of the tunnel. It was very scary this time last year because nobody knew what COVID was. That fear has been eased for some from last year when people first realized the seriousness of the virus. I think we started seeing some of the seriousness of it. When you start to see people that you know getting it or maybe you know, we've all probably known somebody that unfortunately may have passed away due to the complications of that. And I thought, well, you know, hey, we may be we may need to get treatment for this. Hank Norwood is the pharmacist manager of Allegro Plaza in Columbus. Although people didn't know the ins and outs of COVID, he felt they became more concerned about their health. We have medications now that we can use to treat that. We did see a lot of selling of over-the-counter items, vitamin D, vitamin C, the zinc. I think we've had a good response to that. I think, you know, we've been able to handle it pretty well. More businesses continue to open their doors with safety guidelines that were set in place for COVID, and these guidelines help fight off other viruses, too. In our system, we only saw eight flu cases this in 2021. Last year, we saw over 600. So even some of the precautions that we're taking have helped with other diseases just by taking the COVID precaution. COVID and the flu tie in together, but COVID protection has been vital in decreasing cases. I think that there was a lot of fear last year and now we understand what it is. It's very similar, similarly transmitted like the flu. And so these masks have really helped. Healthcare officials know that it's a tricky time, but if you or someone you know feels sick, continue to reach out. With the weather changing and spring coming, you think it's allergies, uh, COVID or flu, but we have tests to tell you which one it is. And so just if you have a question, come be seen by any clinic in town. For more information about how to sign up for a COVID vaccine, go to our website, wcbi.com.